today I'll show you how I made a burning wrist laser inspired by superheroes like Iron Man and Secret Agent 007. On this channel, we make real life superhero gadgets and highlight the best gear that superheroes would use today. This project isn't too difficult. You can probably build it at home yourself, though be warned, you're gonna need some of these special glasses that help protect your eyes because this laser is powerful enough to permanently blind you. All the parts and materials can be bought for relatively cheap online, and I have an affiliate link in the description for all the different parts if you're interested. So I think this looks pretty cool. I added some of that carbon fiber vinyl, makes it look nice and shiny. But I'm still not done. I have a few more upgrades planned that you won't want to miss. So click the bell icon to be notified of my future uploads and subscribe if you're new. So let's talk about a few of my ideas. One is to create a battery that will go kind of on the wrist, similar to how Spider-Man has his web cartridges in the old comic. So this will work using magnets and then we can just kind of plug it in. So this is actually a five volt laser and I'm only using a 4.2 volt battery. It's actually 3.7, but 4.2 you can charge them up to. So this little bad boy is a voltage booster. It's gonna bridge the gap between our 4.2 and five volts, maybe even more, which is going to make our laser beam even stronger. Leave a like at the end of the video, of course, after you've already seen the laser, or you could do it right now, because I worked really hard on this thing. It's your choice. You should click the like button. Click the like button. Okay, let's get on with the video. And then there's some damage.
little knobs right here and here are how you adjust the amount of voltage. This is the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure this is gonna at least fire. All right, so I'll have to mess with this thing until I get it all to fix, to fit together here. 2,000 years later. It's easier to just put this cap on it. I don't know why I was doing it, but I got this to work so that when the battery's full, you have it all the way up to blue. So I'm pretty pumped. This looks nice. Charging this thing is pretty simple. It's kind of hard to see, but inside of there, whenever that turns green, we'll have a full battery. At least that's what's supposed to happen. This might be the sexiest thing I've ever made. And it's all because of another YouTuber by the name of The Human Spider. So he created this 3D printed file and I kind of improved upon it. I sort of made some upgrades by allowing there to be a rechargeable battery and I also rewired the switch because I didn't want the power to get drained by the voltage meter while you're actually running the laser. This way it's pretty stealthy, kind of like a secret agent, it won't give away your position. And then slide it forward and then pew 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 pew. It's awesome. Alright, so laser glass is on, time to test this thing out. Oh God. Wow. Let's see if we can light a candle. No, the match can light a candle. Let's see if it will burn through some of this space blanket or if it will reflect it. It's definitely reflecting it back at me. Let's try some of this foam. There we go. Let's see if we can burn a hole through the foam and then light our birthday cake at the same time. <laughs> That's cool. Woo! Through the wall to the other side. <laughs> I just want to show you where it's positioned right now. That way you know we're not joking around here. Oh yeah. That's kinda neat. I set the low for the battery to about 3.7, so this is supposed to run at five volts. This should work. See if we can burn into this wood. Woo! <laughs> Boom! Uh, you know what that means. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like spy gadgets, check out this video. It is a Wi-Fi de-authenticator, or a Wi-Fi jammer as some people are calling it, and I built it into this lighter, so all the different parts are built into here. It's pretty cool, so I'll leave that link right here. Thank you so much for watching, and stay creative.